What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player nominating contract training guide. This time we are taking a quick look at Dombele, who is available as a four star nominating contract. Everyone should get one of these after playing a couple of matches in the match pass. I think he's definitely the best four star. I wasn't actually going to do a training guide on him because I've done a lot of, you know, center midfielders and defensive midfielder training guides recently, including a lot of his Napoli teammates, such as Labotka. And of course, Zelinski we had there as well. But I do think that this guy is definitely worth a look at. And a lot of uh, you guys that were watching, a lot of the subscribers and followers on Twitter were saying, check out Dombele. He's only four star, but he's an absolute monster. And I think he benefits from having an excellent array of skills and stats that are like make him an extremely balanced player i would say he's one of the most balanced players in the game i will have some clips coming up uh with dambele when we're trying him out in game and stuff but this is just a quick training guy video because a lot of people have been asking me the best way to train him so i'm going to give you two options as we usually do here on the channel the first one i think is just kind of um overcompensating on what you know he doesn't have stats wise visually they've made a lot of changes to the game um, so you do have to look at a blend of player skills and player stats. Now, the first thing that strikes me about Dombele is even though he's got a standard form, he is on A rating, and because Napoli are having a great season, I think that will continue with his A's and B's for the rest of the season until eFootball 2024. Um, but his player skills, you know, the ones that I'd be looking for there, if you are looking at a box-to-box -box center midfielder, are true passing, one-touch pass, and fighting spirit, right? The reason for fighting spirit is because of the stamina changes to V2.4.2, we do want to have that uh, stamina a little bit up to maybe like around 75, but we don't need to go extremely high if we do have fighting spirit, because in the second half, it will fight that little bit of fatigue a little more. Even though your player will look tired, he'll still be able to chase down and sprint. The second thing I would look at is his base stats, right? Where we have ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, and balance all over 80 at level one with 25 levels to go. So that is insane as well. Um, speed and acceleration and kicking power, all very nice. Physical contact and stamina, all very nice. And then we've got curl as well. So I think if you have not got somebody like Goretzka or you're not playing a traditional box to box, look, I mean, if you've got Paddy Vieira, if you've got Davids, if you've got somebody like that, that is like a, another level up from these uh, four star players, then obviously it's going to be a little bit different. But I genuinely do think that this guy is the real deal. And we're going to show you two different versions of him just here in a second as we sign him up here and then we're going to be training him up right so we are over here on eFootballDB.com and we're taking a look at him maxed out he goes to an 89 overall as a center midfielder this first option is if you are looking to play him as a little bit more defensively minded right you have got the player skills such as one touch pass true passing um, and then obviously double touch and scissors faint so attacking wise you're not going to need to spend as many points as you usually would on defensive minded players to just bring him up to par with like that tight possession dribbling and the passing he still has excellent passing and tight dribbling and uh, ball control and tight possession at these you know with just four into dribbling then we're going to pump the rest into defending and lower body strength to get that stamina and speed up so he's able to chase and track and you know hassle for a lot of different uh, types of scenarios in midfield and then we want to get that aggression up to 80 and bring all his defensive stats over 70 as well so that is how you achieve that and that's the card that you're left with i think that's a really good box to box and this would be in kind of the mold that if you are used to using somebody like goretzka or somebody like that He's got the defensive capabilities, but higher stamina than a lot of center midfielders that look to track the runs. The next option we have is a more attack based, and this guy goes to 90 overall. We're going to bring the dribbling and the passing up. Obviously, he does have one touch pass, so we don't need to spend a massive amount of points on passing. So you could obviously take that down a fraction if you wanted to and leave the lofted pass at 80 and uh, the low pass at 84. Some people, you know, like to have the passing over 85. It depends on how you like to play. And with that as well, we could pump that up a little bit more as well um, if we wanted like the aerial strength to come in there, if we wanted physical contact. But I genuinely think that this is a very good attack-based version of him. And lads, trust me, he plays above his stats. You know, don't worry about his aggression here with 70. He still will win a lot of balls with that uh, fighting spirit player skill. Now, how does he track up against 
his standard version. Well, the biggest problem with his standard card is even though you get the dribbling and the passing very similar and you get the speed and acceleration similar, I think the defensive stats here when you train him defensively are quite poor. Um, and then obviously if you take away a lot of the defending, you are going to leave it at the 70 aggression just to leave it at that. You can get the passing up fairly high, but the dribbling is going to be, or the lower body and the stamina is going to be where you're going to lose out. But still, if you want a standard version, you don't want to waste your four-star nominating contract, this is a very good card to try out before you actually go for him because they've got pretty much identical everything, player skills, everything. And then this player of the week is a 94 rated version. And obviously he's got 91 pass and 90 dribbling, but he's let down again by his uh, stamina. So this is probably still the best version of him that they have released, especially with the fact that it has got super sub. That is huge. But if you've missed out on this card, then I genuinely think that this version of him is extremely good defensively. And this version for an attack based Dombele is an extremely good version of him as well. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. It's just a short and sweet training guide for a player that people have been raving about and telling me all my subscribers telling me, you guys are telling me he's an absolute four-star monster. So there you go. And we will be back quite soon with some more Dream Team Chronicles. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. We'll see you guys later. Peace.